You know, Eric, I was, I was, I'm probably wrestling with this personally, but I'm interested to get your, your insight on it. So uh, I'm somebody who, for a lot of years, I just hid my pain. Yeah. Why, why is that our tendency to hide it? And why can't we find any healing in hiding? Yeah, that's also a great question, Sean. Um, so th there's a lot of reasons why we don't share our pain, share our suffering. I want to focus on two that I see over and over, and actually are true for me too. The first reason we often don't share about what's going on is that if we're honest, we actually feel a lot of shame about the pain that we're experiencing. There's a part of me that can tell myself, like, you shouldn't be experiencing this. You should be past this. Um, this is your fault. Why would you burden others? Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe God's not happy with me. Essentially, sometimes in our suffering, I think I'm less than and I think I'm defective. So I want to hide that. Why would I want to talk about that? Instead, I want to show up and think everyone thinks I'm fine and I'm okay, but I'm not. Uh, the second thing that I see is that a lot of us, it was never modeled to us that you go to people to get your needs met. Instead, I think a lot of us, we grew up that like you take care of your problems on your own. And um, you figure it out, don't be a burden, and um, then you just kind of keep going with your life. Now that would be okay if it actually worked, <laughs> but it, it doesn't work. Um, the same level of consciousness that creates our problems often can't solve it. And in fact, sometimes we're creating these little compartments to try to deal with our pain, and those are the beginning of having secret lives or the beginning of, of having pockets where we're trying to kind of numb ourselves, and that can get really dangerous over time. It seems like God has, um, from the beginning, is trying to teach us we need each other. And now science is confirming. There's a term we use in therapy. It's called co-regulation. It means that by sharing our pain, sharing like our vulnerability with another person, it's almost like the two nervous systems get in sync and they uh, provide healing for each other. That's the way out of suffering. And it first starts with kind of, you know, being able to kind of open up and talk about what's really going on inside of us. And if you look at some of the, the models that are very successful, like 12-step addiction recovery and some other things, they're really predicated on telling your whole story. Take it from someone that's done it, it's really scary. But when you do it, there's a huge release. So I'd say the first thing we have to think about, and maybe like the challenge for all of us is, can we find someone to begin to talk to about what's going on? We're all okay. And I think our suffering or our shame tells us we're not, but we are. We just have to begin to kind of talk to people about it.